What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, thanks for tuning in. So today we're going to be getting around to doing something that I uh, talked about doing quite a while ago, um, and now I think it's time to do it. If you've been around for any be decent sort of time on the channel, uh, you'll know that a little while back I did the foil delete on my hot side intercooler pipe, uh, and so today we're actually going to be painting it. Um, if you haven't seen that video, be sure to check it out. Um, but we're going to be painting it today. I know back then I talked about whether I was going to powder coat it or paint it. Um, in the end, at some point down the road, I plan on powder coating it all. Um, but I figure it's not that hard uh, to get it changed if I do paint it and not like it. Um, so the painting is just kind of a trial run to see how I like the color scheme. Um, yeah, there's nothing too crazy. Um, I was a little hesitant to paint it at first because I would thought, well, if I paint it and then I end up getting it powder coated, then I'll have to strip it down. And anyways, um, the more I thought about it, the more I realized that it's really not that much work. Um, I could either get paint stripper and have it done really quickly, um, or I just bring it into the powder coaters painted and they can dip it in one of their acid baths or spray booths um, and have it cleaned up real quick with just a little bit extra cost. So I'm not too worried about it. Uh, we're going to paint it and allowed me to try it out, see how I feel about it, and give me something to do. Uh, so we're going to paint it. Paint it. Um, for those that you were around, you know I talked about doing a very dark blue paint. Um, I think in the end, powder coating, I kind of have this visual of like almost a dark candy blue um, gloss powder coat um, on the intercooler piping uh, from the store. This is the closest thing I could find to it. Um, we'll see. I don't know how it's going to turn out, but that's kind of how this thing goes. It's not permanent. Um, so we're just going to go and have some fun with it and see how it turns out. Um, I don't know if I'm going to show you guys actually take it apart. Um, it's not that hard to get the intercooler piping out. Um, so you're either going to see me pulling it apart right now or you'll see it with the parts all the way out. All right, guys. Well, we've made some progress. It took a bit longer than I expected. Um, had some troubles with a few of the intercooler boots coming off. Uh, they were stuck down on the intercooler down below, which there isn't much room to work down there, um, especially when you're only able to lay on top. Uh, being in a wheelchair makes it a little harder man to maneuver around, but we got it out. So, here you guys go. Um, ended up taking the spider out. We got the intercooler boots, the intake boots and the intercooler piping. Uh, so now, well, there's a look at the old girl, all torn apart inside. Um, but now it is time to start the, start another tedious process of actually cleaning all of these up. Um, for the most part, they're not terrible. Last time I put them back in, uh, did a little bit of cleaning, but I didn't do a super thorough job. Uh, so now, it is time to really scrub away. Um, another thing I've decided is now that I have the entire valley of the engine opened up, basically, um, I think I might be putting in my high pressure oil lines from CNC Fabrication. Um, really high end stuff. I've been really happy with their products. Uh, they're the one whose fuel system I'm running and honestly it's been doing really well so far. Um, so I've been pretty happy with their products. They're a good company out there um, from my experience. Uh, but like I said, since I have the whole valley of the engine basically opened up, um, I think I might take this opportunity to uh, keep going a little farther and uh, install my new high pressure oil lines. Um, as of right now, uh, my current lines aren't really leaking. Uh, but they do have 120,000 miles on them. I don't know if they've ever been replaced. I highly doubt it. Um, they could have another 100,000 left in them. They could go in another 5,000 5, miles. I don't know. Um, I do know that I was planning on replacing them eventually. Um, and I have the lines here sitting on the shelf. So I think now that I have it all opened up, I'm going to take the time and actually replace those. Um, they do have a different fitting on them uh, more of a hydraulic style fitting instead of the weird push lock fittings that uh, the current lines have or the factory lines have so it's a little bit of an upgrade um, it's going to take a little extra time but it shouldn't be too bad now that i'm in this far i'll show you guys those a little bit more once i get them in or maybe before i put them in and then once i get them in um, i don't know it's just kind of one of those peace of mind things like i said i don't know how old those original ones are i'm guessing they're from the factory and if you blow a high pressure line on the road, you're basically out of luck. And I'll, guys show, I'll show you guys that as well. Um, 
with that, this might turn into a bit of a two-part series, so we don't have uh, too long of a video, and you guys don't get too bored. Um, but yeah, let me go grab those, and I'll show you guys what they look like. All right, so here they are. Um, they're nice stainless steel braided lines, uh, rated up to I don't know how high of pressure, but very high, much higher than your uh, high-pressure oil system. They don't have the standard fitting uh, like your factory lines do that end up blowing out usually. Uh, these are threaded fittings, as you guys can see. There you go. As you guys can see, they are nice threaded fittings. Um, nice quality stuff. Um, I already run their high pressure oil crossover line in the valley of the engine, which basically looks the same as these. Uh, that crosses over between the fuel or the oil rails. Um, so I'm going to end up replacing it with these or replacing my two factory lines with these. Nice upgrade, um, should look nice in the engine bay, as well as give me the added reassurance that everything is in good order down there. Um, so yeah, we're gonna be installing those as well. It's time to get to cleaning all of this. My goal for tonight is get all of this cleaned up and get the paint sprayed on it, and then I can probably leave it overnight, uh, let it dry and everything, and then uh, we'll be putting it all back together tomorrow. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get to work on that. Uh, tomorrow will probably be a separate video, but we'll see how far we get along tonight. cooler piping painted up uh, it's a little dark for you guys but overall I think it turns out pretty darn good um, obviously it's not like a candy coat like I had talked about with the powder coat but it is a nice dark blue like I was hoping for um, tomorrow in the sunlight I'll give you guys a better angle of it I'm going to get the spider all cleaned up or the rest of the way cleaned up and or taped off and then hopefully I'll get that painted as well tonight so it can dry before tomorrow. Overall, I'm pretty darn happy. I think it turned out pretty good. Uh, it's going to be a trick and a half trying to get them in or back in the truck without scratching them all to hell, but uh, we'll see what we can do. Well, all right guys, I think we're gonna call it a wrap for the night. I did end up getting the spider or half of the spider coated. Uh, turned out pretty good. Um, Should have thought of a better way to do this. And I kind of thought of a better way after I started spraying, of course. But this will work. Coat this side and then end up coating the other side in the morning. Um, those are the 
intercooler pipes over there. Overall, I think the day went pretty good. Um, obviously didn't finish the project, but I didn't really expect to finish the project. Um, I think I'm going to make this multiple part series, so I'll probably release this video. So if you're interested, uh, I encourage you to subscribe to the channel. Uh, there is also a little notification bell down right by the subscribe button that if you don't have it selected, you won't get notified when I up or when I upload. Um, so if you're interested in something like this, um, you want to see the updates, make sure you don't miss it. Um, hit that notification bell if you want to get the notifications. But yeah, I think the video went pretty well. Um, as always, leave your comments in the script or leave your comments below. I like to hear what you guys think. Um, I was thinking about doing that spider black, but I think it'll look good all color matched together. Um, again, like I said, I do plan on powder coating this down the road. Um, I know this isn't permanent. I know this isn't a professional paint job. Um, that's not what I was going for. I'm just going to do this for fun. Do it to see how I like it. See how I like the color blue under the hood. Um, yeah, nothing crazy, more just a fun project for me, and figure some of you guys might enjoy it. Um, if you did, leave that thumbs up. Always leave a comment below. I'll try to get back to you guys, and I'll catch you guys on the next video.